The city says the number of metered taxi operating licenses surged from 685 in 2015 to 4,300 operating licenses by last year. Organizations including the Uber Master Union and the Western Cape E-Hailing Association said the permit backlog has led to a surge in the impoundment of e-hailing drivers' vehicles. Last week, striking drivers marched to Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis' offices in protest of the freeze. The city said that it would undertake a survey on metered cab drivers and e-hailing drivers to help the council determine how many permits will need to be issued. Meanwhile, dire implications await the Nigerian economy should foreign airlines make good their threat to withdraw flight services over stock funds estimated to have reached $464 million as of July 2022. Specifically, the exit of foreign carriers that account for 80% of commercial aviation earnings to the gross domestic product will hobble the projected growth of the air transport sector and cost Nigeria $1.36 billion yearly. Finally, the bilateral cooperation between China and Namibia has continued to expand over the years, and in 2019, total trade volume between China and Namibia was 709 million US dollars. In 2020, total trade volume between the two countries reached 785 million US dollars, an increase of 10.7% over the previous year. The rapid growth of trade volume between China and Namibia signifies the further deepening of bilateral cooperation. The total trade volume between the two countries surged by 44.7% year over year to $1.136 in 2021. In the same year, Chinese-funded enterprises undertook the construction of the freeway linking the Windhoek International Airport in Namibia's capital and the roads in the city, which once finished, will further improve the logistics and shipping conditions in Namibia and effectively provide convenience for people traveling to and from Namibia. Serena Ndekeremo for Lunchtime News.